with what Montel can do in, in your offense? You know, he's got that threat of, of the two things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that uh, presents problems to the defense. You know, it, everybody drops back in coverage, man, and somebody doesn't contain, he could turn it into a 10 to 15 yard game, and that always scares the defense a little bit. <laughs> sure, sure. Does that look natural for him? I mean, he's obviously a good runner, but. but does he look comfortable when that's when things aren't there, just taking it and going? More comfortable now okay. than he did in the spring. He's getting better. Okay. Uh, it still needs to improve, but um, no, he's he's he looks a lot more comfortable. And, and you know, we've talked about that. He's got to wear two hats, and I expect him to be a, a, a pocket passer, go through his reads, looking downfield, not looking to get out of the pocket. And he does that really well. So, you know, you kind of have to get him to get out of the pocket a little bit more, and and, and do what he can do. Sure. You know, and and. Uh, but, uh, How do you do that? You know, you, you just it? you get well. No, you can, you yeah. can, but uh, you could limit his reads. Okay. You know, um, as you progress in this offense, you may have some concepts that are, are uh, what they call progression reads that could actually go through five across the field reads. And uh, sometimes, you know, you could for guys that are young or whatever, you could just break it down and say, "Hey, man, one, two, ain't there? Take off." You know, stuff like that. Have you seen him command the offense any better since Michael's since Michael went down, or like take kind of take control of the offense, or feel more confident just because of that? He has a spot kind of, I guess, favorite was a favorite for the spot after that. Yeah, you, uh, and he came in the spring uh, for the camp, and I talked to him about it. I said, "Obviously, man, you got the inside track because you got you and Mike got most of the reps in the spring, and so really, um, you know, it's yours to." Um, I don't want to say it's your was yours to lose. You have to go out and earn it, but you have the inside track, you know. And so he really embraced that role all through camp. He never once had a day where I went, oh no, you know. I never once wavered, not one time. Uh, he didn't either, and uh, he just kept that that role the whole way, every day. I don't think there was one day where I walked off the practice field, and I was like, oh well, well maybe we need to be thinking about somebody else or something like that. I thought he did a really good job with that. It's what are you most curious about uh, when you see him for the first time live? What yeah. You know, just uh, operating um, operating the passing game. You know, um, when you go against, like, uh, your defense every day and they see, you know, the first three days, it's kind of realistic because for offense because the defense is seeing those plays for the first time like a defense defense would in a game and so but then after the first week I mean your defense knows everything you're doing and you can't go out there and scheme your defense so the defense really kicks your butt most of the time in the passing game DBs are jumping routes and all that stuff so it, it, it's been really hard for us and so uh, just kind of see how he's going to react in a in a game where it's everything's kind of new and different than what he's been seeing every day and with a uh, Cozart and Ford seemed like they were kind of running one and two a lot uh -huh. Both have some athleticism, right? Is that important to you right now to have a guy with some athleticism that can do things with his feet? You know, I think it helps. But I've always said, you know, if you look at when we were at Cal and when and when we were at Louisiana Tech, this offense is created in the way you can call it. And if you have nothing but a pocket passer, you can do that too. It's just how you co combine the um, the plays and how you call the plays and the protections and all that stuff. And and so you know we can really go with anybody. Um, I asked uh, Coach Beatty about the, uh, Stanley's delivery being unconventional. And mm -hmm. He said it's uh, a hitch, that, that that's not really what he's like. He's working on a hitch, and then it didn't show on film, and it didn't show on film. Yeah, you know, we had a good talk about that yesterday, and, and uh, somehow through the summer he's kind of developed a little something in his delivery that's, that's – uh, um, with his elbow and the way that he's, he's um, um, now I'm not going to go through details, but just a little bit of delivery hitch that he has that we're working on right now. Yeah, and we, yeah, we're aware of that. He's aware of that, yeah. You're glad it's a, a hitch and not what he really is? <laughs> yeah. No, I'll tell you what, um, and I talked to him about this yesterday. I was very surprised um, and very excited about what I've seen out of him this last week. Yeah. He's in.